Now I began on the ladder of crime. It was very easy. When I left school at the age of 14, I was sent to, <clears throat> to work at this rope factory. This rope factory had been there, I don't know, probably a couple of hundred years, a very old building and whatnot there. And the length of this rope factory was uh, at the side of a canal. And a very, very old building indeed. Inside, of course, they made rope and all different kinds of rope. Rope for the Navy, rope for industry, rope for this, rope for that, rope for everywhere. And uh, my job was to walk all the length of this long, shallow, hollow building and get to the under end and put a peg in and come down again and back again and back again and back again until it was all twisting, the rope was twisting. Plus I had to get bales of different fibre and stuff like this and I was told what to do on this and all that. There were a few of us working there and of course there were many ropes going at the same time. Me being the first one there, when I said the first one there, the, the last to come in there, I got to tell I was going to get all the scrap jobs and everything. And the guy what were in charge, I always remember him well. Bear in mind I'm 14 years of age. I always remember this pig well. He had a dirty big Blueberry snows what spread over us, face it looked like an house brick. And walks and all sorts of this face were dirty, horrible, drunk, a bastard. All he'd been through life, you could tell what he was, a bully and everything. So, all the shouting, get that, get up there and get this, go and get that, get this, get this. And it came to break time. Um, I sat down for a bit of a sandwich, actually, it wasn't a sandwich, it was bread and jam. And uh, we sat down there. I was just sat down and uh, started eating uh, my sandwich, which I explained to you was bread and jam. The rest of the lads were sat there and were all sat on big bales of rope and everything. When this pig came over to me and said, Right, get up there, Rushton, and bring that bobbin back in there what was connected to the rope or something on the twine and the walk on that alone was something like um, back and forward something like 800 yards there and 800 yards back and I said but I'm having my break like the rest of the lot you know uh, kind of went to lot of me break. with that he knocked the sandwich straight out of my hand and it fell on the floor and they all started laughing and all that. Bear in mind, I'm 14 years of age. But at 14 years of age, through my school days, I had the advantage. I could hit both hands. I didn't think twice about it. I hit him, and I followed up with another one. And the guy just sat down, and like a dirty big bully he was, and a coward. <clears throat> there was no more fight left in him. And here was me at 14, stood over this big, dirty, horrible pig. And I'd done him, you know. So there was nothing else in him. When he got up, he started to scream, you sacked and all that again. I'd only started that morning. And this was uh, a bit nanting, really. I was a bit concerned about going home as well and telling them what I said. So what I did there is um, I never told them. And every day, I used to go to work or pretend to go to work, the usual thing, jump sandwich or where I'll be or a bit of uh, I'm on a, on a sandwich or anything what we're going over there in the house and we'll use a packet in there and uh, just wrap it up in there. I used to be after work but I didn't go to work and the reason I didn't go to work uh, I had no job to go to so here is me at 14 years of age done the bully at work out of work Trying to go on without any wage on a Friday because my dad was uh, somebody else who was a strict guy but a good guy. And uh, there was only one thing for it. And um, I had to go and steal.